I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. Recently, we got an update about there being a story in mind for part 3. In that video clip, we also got info about Tommy, that there was a story in mind for Tommy, but that we don't know if it'll be told in a game or in the HBO show. So, I'm gonna connect things to hints that were already told in part 2. Yes, we have potential things connected to part 3 in part 2. These marked locations, which the deep end of the community talked about in 2020, like bro, this is some deep shit, so pay attention, and I'm gonna have you realize that we might have stuff teased in front of our eyes this whole time, unless this person changes stuff for the sake of subverting expectations. But ain't no way this is a coincidence, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts and the community's thoughts in which direction The Last of Us Free might head and what role Tommy might play. So, we're gonna get into Tommy's impairment. Since he was grazed, he got trouble moving, trouble seeing. But first, I got bills to pay. Buying groceries is expensive, so I got a sponsor. This wouldn't be possible without your support, so thank you, please keep it coming. We did it, boys! We're gonna dive deeper into part three and Tommy, but before that, I'd like to tell you about World of Tanks PC and thank them for sponsoring today's video. This game is free to play. You can use your own strategy in the intense action experience, you can start your journey and access a welcome pack worth $20 by clicking the link on the top of the video description and pinned comment or scanning the QR code on screen right now to access the in-game bonuses. You got regular special events, missions, and content updates providing constant variety and fresh challenges to keep players engaged. The tutorial has also been tweaked to improve new gamers' experience. Bring your friends along into this dedicated community into platoons which can have up to 3 players. Play how you want to play. You got a huge tank arsenal with tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks. You can go in blazing, ambush your opponent with sneaky tactics, you got over 600 tanks, so there's always a new way to play in over 40 battle arenas slash maps. So join over 210 million players in this free to play adventure access the welcome pack by clicking the link in the top of the description or the pinned comment or you can scan the qr code and join world of tanks today anyhow there's a big question surrounding tommy and his impaired ability to walk and you know his bad eye so what's his role gonna be if he you know low-key barely could survive if he leaves jackson well he can ride a horse we saw that by the way he arrived at the farm he most certainly could use a vehicle. Playing as Tommy though, I think is unlikely to happen in part 3. The main playable characters are probably gonna be Ellie and Abby, but I think Tommy could be there as a story side character the way he was in part 1 and in part 2. But it's still not impossible that we won't play as Tommy. The gameplay, if we play as Tommy, could be like this part when we played as Joel in part 1, or like this part when we play as Ellie in part 2. A stumbling Tommy that's still able to shoot could add an extra layer of challenge to the gameplay. In part 1, we had 3 playable characters, Sarah, Joel, and Ellie. In part 2, we also had 3 playable characters, Joel, Ellie, and Abby. Hey, I'm gonna be scared if Tommy's playable at the start of part 3 cause, you know the curse. Sarah, boom, Joel, boom, huh, please don't repeat the curse. But whether he's on a horse, on a truck, on a boat, or on foot, Tommy having one eye to see from, him having trouble walking, does not rule him out from part 3. Alright, so on to the big one. Europe being teased in The Last of Us 2. What is this? So in 2020, the deep end of the community came across this in part 2 when playing as Abby. One marker is near Boston, where we've been in in part 1. Another marker is near Seattle, where we've been in in part 2. And the third marker is in Europe. Interesting, fine indeed. I made a video in 2020 delving deeper into the Europe topic, so if you want more context surrounding this topic, check the description or annotations. But both Abby and Ellie flat out talk about going to other countries as well. These trailers are neat. Nice little portable home. You think people really traveled a lot in these things? Oh, well, wouldn't you? 
I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. Huh, <laughs> keep dreaming. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these, like, giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. What if we don't find them here? Assuming all the leads dry up, what would you like to do? I don't know. <clears throat> Leave this place? Okay. And where would we go? West. See what's out there. It's nothing but ocean. And past it? Other countries, I guess. You want to do that? Why not? Good question. So there's no way this is a coincidence, and I'm not the one who found this, so full credit goes to the user right here. If we don't go to Europe or another country in part free at all, I'm gonna think it's cause this asshole wants to subvert expectations due to him feeling too many people in the community discussing the hints and whatnot. So hey, maybe we should all pretend we ain't seen or heard anything. Now, I don't think Tommy will go to Europe. I mean, he couldn't go get revenge on Abby due to his impairment, but you can separate making a long trip and, you know, going getting revenge. Tommy trying to kill Abby, she'd win, and bro can't sneak up on her with that leg and, you know, his aim with his eye. So yeah, but, but as long as there's no fighting any humans, I think Tommy could make a trip with allies across the US. Not on his own, and not to Europe, but across parts of the US to get to the closest point from the US to Europe, which seems to be the US Virgin Islands. We'll on that later, but why would Tommy, a man without hope, a man who's bitter, a man who can, you know, just live out the rest of his days in Jackson, why would he even step foot outside of Jackson? Well, what if he doesn't have a choice? What if Jackson falls? We have two moments in part two talking about infected migrating towards Jackson. Watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. Where are they coming from? Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature... St shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> what you think? It's beautiful. And we have Ellie writing in her journal about a huge ward in Las Vegas. Huh, interesting indeed. We have free hints surrounding other countries, which I showcased earlier. And we also have free hints surrounding bigger hordes and them migrating. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna delve deeper into the theory about Jackson falling in another video. But long story short, there you have the hint. Jackson falling would force our beloved characters, Maria, Dina, and her family, Tommy, and Ellie to leave. Unless Tommy dies at the start of the game and they repeat their intro formula with a character being hurt or dying to kick off the game. It's gotten old at this point. It's, it's been done three times in a row. You know, Last of Us 1, Uncharted 4, Last of Us 2. Please don't kill off anyone at the start of part three. Come on, you've done the intro formula three times in a row. Anyhow. If Tommy survives Jackson falling, I think he'd do what he can to help the people he cares about. Even though Tommy is bitter and depressed at the end of part 2, Ellie is still his family and by extension I think he cares for Dina and I bet you he still loves Maria. So with Jackson falling, there's no Tommy can't do this, can't go here. He has to try. And we already discussed him being impaired, but still being able to do certain things to some extent.
All right, the Fireflies has been an underlying theme of hope throughout the first and second game. I think Europe could be connected to the Fireflies. Listen, the Fireflies are struggling in the States. We know this, but there's still some out there. We know this. Abby made it to the Fireflies in Catalina Island. We know this. Now, now, Tommy and Abby would never work together and they're probably, they probably won't cross uh, paths in part three, but you know, who knows? What I'm saying is that the Fireflies are still out there and we know they're in the hundreds and that they're growing every month. How many of you are there? We're about 200 strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, that's right. You're about to get two more. Maybe the Fireflies can connect to Europe with them working together with another faction from there some way, somehow. And hey, if the Vikings could travel to the US by boat, we could have a similar journey taking place during a time skip. Maybe a sub-faction of the Fireflies could run into our main characters. And Tommy being a former Firefly, maybe he could, you know, give a helping hand to whoever wants to go to Europe, whether Europe is connected to the Fireflies or not. Again, I don't think Tommy is going all the way to Europe. Closest way to Europe seems to be through the US Virgin Islands. Maybe Tommy could help whatever people going there and, you know, say his goodbyes off the coast. Imagine a heartbreaking goodbye to Ellie or some shit. Damn. Regardless if this Tommy theory makes sense or not, Europe is something that's been teased. Bigger hordes and hordes migrating towards Jackson is something that's been teased. Either way, I believe Uncle Tommy is a must-have in part 3 because he's family. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. Yeah. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? God damn. Look at you. You got fucking old. Easy. It's going to happen to you, too. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm, you too. <laughs> 